Hello, Platte River Academy. It's Becky Bonner here. Um, I'm coming to you on um, Wednesday, we Wednesday, as we celebrate our commitment to community every Wednesday and students and teachers wear the t-shirts that um, commemorate our commitment that we made at the beginning of this school year. When we came up with that theme at the beginning of the school year, we knew that we were gonna be faced with challenges this year. And we knew that we were gonna confront those challenges as um, one community dedicated to bringing um, education and powerful relationships to students and surrounding every kid in this building and every staff member who is on this team surrounding them all with care and love and the belief that they matter every single one in the pra community matters and that's where the commitment to community came from. And we believed it then, and we believe it now. And have we faced challenges? Oh my goodness, we absolutely have. I think if you asked any staff member, any teacher in this building, they would tell you they have never worked harder in their lives, but they know that every minute they pour into the work of serving these students is so worth it. And they will stand up to protect the hearts and souls and brains and dignity of every child who enters Platte River Academy. And I believe that my role here at this school is to stand up and say, we protect all who enter. When we say we know and grow every learner, it really is that commitment to get to know every child, what he believes, where he comes from, what he thinks, what he gets passionate about, what makes him smile, struggles he has, and places he excels. We believe that every child's voice matters, needs to be heard, and needs to be given um, an opportunity to come forward. We want them to be able to stand tall with um, their ideas and be able to express their opinion with tact and with civility and with respect for other people in the room. We enter a stretch of time um, that has truly been unprecedented in the level of anger and hostility and uh, violence and, and concerns about well-being. And the letter that is attached to this email um, to you came from the Board of Directors written with Platte River um, leadership with an intent to, with one voice, say, we are one. We are all committed to this community and it really doesn't matter to us what you think, what you believe, where your family stands in, in terms of this issue or that issue, because we respect every single one of you. I'm coming to you today with a heavy heart because I apologize, I didn't want to do this, but I come to you today with a very strong purpose in asking you to have a conversation in your house tonight about your commitment to this community, Platte River Academy, and how when your child walks in this building, they are a member of this team and this family and just like in your family siblings argue with one another moms and dads argue and disagree from time to time but we do not tear down we do not label we do not diminish because we value every person who comes through the doors of platte river academy there is not one person whose ideas or passions matter more to us than another i have heard from many grade level teachers that um, conversations today have you know been swirling about what is going on in our country and worries about where the story might end and whether um, you know whether what they want to happen will actually come come through on the other side these are kindergartners first graders second graders fifth graders seventh graders, eighth graders, 
These are kids in your house and in our school who care deeply because you care deeply. So do we. Every staff member who works at Platte River has strong opinions about what is going well and what isn't going well in our country. But when we come to school, we're here for one reason, and that is to give these kids every opportunity that we can for them to learn and to be able to express their ideas without concern for how they might be treated by others. So I just, I I feel um, compelled to share this letter with you, which is about just pure acceptance and reminding everyone what our core values are and asking you to please take it to the home level and talk with your family, talk with your children about how we do honor a person that we don't agree with, how we care for a classmate who we think has um, goofy ideas or habits or behaviors because we all come to this space with the same desire to grow and learn and to develop relationships and every everyone here deserves that same opportunity. I had a conversation today with Mrs. Hall, our middle school social studies teacher, and she shared with me a lesson that she brought before seventh graders today. And there's there's just one piece on this piece of paper that I wanna close this video with and leave you with this thought. Remember that engaging in meaningful discussions and honestly exploring our differences can help bridge differences or clarify misunderstandings. This is how a democratic society functions. As strongly as you feel about your perspective on an issue, there are those who feel just as strongly about their perspective. It's also possible that you will not change each other's minds, but your relationship with one another does not need to be dissolved for that difference. We are one community. We need each other now more than ever, and we need to be fighting on the same team for the same reasons. And that is that every kid has value and deserves to be treated um, fairly and with dignity every day. Our kids are watching us right now and what we say and what we do, and it matters more than ever that we are all committed to community. Thank you for listening. Um, I hope you read the letter and understand that it comes from a place of service and our desire to provide strong leadership for this school and help this be the safe place that you feel comfortable bringing your child every day. We're here for all of them. Thank you for listening. Take care and have a good night.